Photoshop tutorial. This time we're going to look at the tools to organize your layers. Right, I've done a bit of work on painting, coloring my comic book character. Here I've been working on the actual helmet. And if I have a look, I've got a number of different layers to make up this part of my character. Just going to use the shortcut key holding down space to move it so you can get a better look. Okay, so one layer I've got is helmet detail red. There it is, switch it on, switch it off. You can see hidden underneath that is the white visor. See, it's quite messy, but the red hides it quite neatly. So there's the visor. Underneath that, I've got the helmet base, which is this blue base. And I've also got this respirator, which is this yellow patch there. Now, if you've got a load of layers that belong together, in this case, the helmet, you can organize them in the same way you can organize the folders, folders, given away the files on your computer. Yes, Photoshop has folders. At the very bottom, along the options here, where we've got new We've got the bin to bin any layers we don't want. We've also got create a new group, but it looks like a folder because that's what it does. So I create a new folder, it's called it group one. I can rename it by calling it helmet, helmet. There you go. And I can store all the helmet detail in there. So I'm gonna throw the base in by clicking and dragging. I'm gonna throw the visor in. I'm gonna throw the detail in. Uh, red, that one if I need it, the respirator, and hey presto, it's all neatly put in the helmet. So if I want to hide all the aspects that make that helmet, I click on the eye, and all those layers are hidden in one go. It means that you can collapse the layer group, and I can expand it. Sometimes your Photoshop compositions can have numerous layers. So work smart, organize yourself, use folders. Thanks very much.